Hello everyone and welcome back to Killer Phoenix Gaming. Today is Friday the 14th, which means that Zer is back. Today he is on Nessus by Werner. So just fast travel here, go onto the ship, and he's kind of off to the back. All right, guys, so first things first, if you've not completed your Forsaken and Prior Exotic collections on all three of your characters, pick up a Faded Ingram, as they now do drop Year 1 and Year 2 Exotics. For Zer's weapon for the week, he has the Queen Breaker. This is a linear fusion rifle that comes with the exotic perk. Wire Rifle fires a long-range precision arc bolt that blinds its enemies on hit. This weapon used to be the meta and Gambit, and then they nerfed it a little bit. It is still definitely one of the best weapons for PvP. Um, for comp or even just still Gambit Prime, it is definitely a good weapon and definitely something you should pick up if you have not gotten it from Faded Ingrams already. Now for exotic armor, first we have the Hunter Helmet Knucklehead Radar. This comes with upgraded sensor pack. It provides radar while you're aiming and enhances your radar resolution. This is pretty good in um, PvP. I think it definitely can be used there. I personally use it with a hand cannon and that's kind of my comp build, but it has absolutely no use in PvP. So it's very situational. So it's kind of up to you. If you don't play Pr Crucible, I really don't think you need to pick it up. Now for the Titan, we have the ACD slash O Feedback Fence. These come with the exotic perk Fury Conductors. Melee kills build energy. Being struck by a melee attack reduces incoming damage and unleashes the energy in a devastating explosion. These are also a very, very good exotic, like the Queen's Breaker. Definitely something I think you should pick up. They're very powerful in both PvP and PvE, and they're really good. Honestly, Xur all around is really good this week. Now for the Warlock, they are selling my personal favorite exotic, the Geomag Stabilizers. This comes with the perk close enough. When Chaos reach super energy is almost full, sprinting tops it off, and damaging enemies with Chaos Reach extends its duration. It gives, I think, around like a 50% duration boost to your Chaos Reach, and that damage is just incredible. Plus, the top off is like 15%. It really just makes your super, like, you know, you're doing super damage a lot more often. With the majority of the super buffing exotics being nerfed, this is a very good thing to have. Now, finally guys, don't forget to pick up your Five of Swords for high level nightfall runs if you have not yet. And thank you very much for watching. Hope it was helpful. Um, make sure to see Xur this week because he's really good. Alright guys, bye.